Now, in the previous class, uh, we have uh, discussed regarding what are uh, sewer appurtenances and uh, what, you, what are its uh, importance and uh, what are the uh, different types of sewer appurtenances uh, are there that we have seen in the last class. In the last class, we have discussed in detail regarding uh, catch basin inlet and the clean out. Now, in today's class, uh, we will be discussing a very important aspect of uh, sewer appurtenances so that is uh, we are going to discuss in today's class regarding manholes and the drop manholes. Normally, these two particular uh, your sewer appurtenances will normally ask in the exam. Uh, they are going to be asked for around 8 to 10 marks. So they are very, very uh, important as far as your examination concern. And uh, these are very important type of a question uh, for your exam. So, in today's class, uh, we are going to discuss in detail regarding what are manholes, why it is going to be provided, how it is uh, going to uh, the operate. Okay. Uh, regarding this, we are going to study in today's class. Now, uh, manhole. Okay. Manhole is mainly it is meant for uh, say inspection, testing, cleaning and any uh, uh, remove uh, any obstructions are there in your uh, into the sewer line there we are going to use these uh, sewer line okay wherever there is an uh, uh, wherever there is a need to have uh, the inspection testing cleaning or maintenance purpose there we are going to provide these manholes okay where these particular manholes will be get situated that is a very very important uh, for us locations of manhole uh, manholes are provided wherever there is an uh, bend okay bend then uh, wherever there is an junction where uh, two to three pipe or uh, say several pipelines meet and then uh, wherever there is a change in the gradient or a change in diameter of the pipe right uh, there we are going to have this particular manhole particularly it is meant for uh, I, have, I have already told uh, your uh, maintenance cleaning testing and the removal of obstructions for the sewer okay now the these uh, uh, sewer are uh, mainly meant for the maintenance work. Now these manholes are uh, divided into two types that is uh, shallow manhole, normal manhole and the uh, deep manhole. Okay, shallow manhole uh, they are uh, going to provide where uh, at a depth of around 0.75 to 0.9 meter in depth wherever there is a depth of around 0.75 to 0.9 meter is there there we are going to provide the shallow manhole and they are constructed at the start of the branch sewer okay branch sewer they are also known as the inspection chamber okay now normal manholes are uh, usually we are uh, going to have it when uh, it is uh, having the depth of around 1.5 meter in depth there we are going to provide the normal manhole and uh, they are constructed either in square or rectangular My, might be on uh, roads if you see uh, there are uh, some rectangular uh, um, uh, openings and uh, all your uh, openings with uh, having the cover manhole cover you have seen rectangular one by one meter and then uh, if uh, uh, rectangular also the manhole cover opening you have seen in the cross section so uh, and what are the deep manholes are nothing but the deep manholes are uh, the manholes where we are going to uh, have uh, depth more than uh, 1.5 meter the manholes which are more deeper more than 1.5 meter deep we call them as the deep manhole okay now uh, we are we, we can uh, see that right this is normal these manholes will be underground okay these manholes will be normally underground it is uh, now uh, we will see uh, one by one what are the components of the manhole okay here you can as you can see uh, there are uh, wherever there is an, a change in junction or wherever there is a two to three uh, sewer are going to join and uh, wherever there is an uh, obstruction for maintenance work we are going to provide uh, these manholes see uh, the working chamber will be larger than the assess uh, shaft okay now assess shaft is nothing but the it is an upper portion of the manhole and it is also known as an upper shaft it is going to uh, have a minimum size of around uh, 0.6 to 0.75 meter for a rectangular and uh, 
uh, for if uh, manhole and uh, if it is a circular then uh, this SS shaft will be of the size 0 0.6 to 0.75 meter for a circular uh, manhole its depth is equal to the depth of the manhole minus the height of the required working chamber now it is SS shaft whenever the person manhole is nothing but when a person why we call it as a manhole is the man is going to enter into these particular manhole uh, for the inspection, uh, maintenance and the removal of the obstruction. So man can enter into it and he can finish his work. Okay, so assess shaft is having a smaller, uh, uh, sm uh, smaller working area. I have told the area also. Then the working chamber in this particular portion, the person whomsoever is going to enter into the manhole, it is meant for his working. Now these are the steps from these steps the person who want to have the maintenance work of the manhole he will enter and he will be uh, working through it now working chamber it is the lower portion of the manhole and it provides the working space as uh, to carry out the repair works okay it is going to have an offset of the rcc slab okay the minimum size of the working chamber for a rectangular manhole is 0 0.9 by uh, 1.2 meter and uh, that for the uh, circular uh, or that uh, circular uh, 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 manhole it is around 1.2 meter dia the height of the working sh chamber should be around 1.8 meter then uh, we will be seeing regarding the bottom or invert okay the bottom or invert portion is also it is also called as an the benching okay now uh, it consists of a semicircular u shape here the benching this portion we call it as an uh, the benching okay uh, with having wherever from the main sewer line whenever the waste water has to enter into the branch sewer line these uh, benching has been provided and the slope is provided so that the waste water from the main sewer line should enter into the uh, your uh, uh, branch uh, sewer line so that is the reason why we are going to provide the benching then uh, we will be providing uh, we are going to have the side walls. The side walls are, uh, it is uh, either of a burnt brick masonry, these are nothing but the side walls. It is either made up of burnt brick masonry or it is made up of uh, the R RCC and uh, it is, uh, it should be uh, structurally strong to withstand the pressure from the side which is going to uh, come. The minimum uh, thickness of these uh, burnt brick masonry should be around 20 2.5 centimeter and uh, the inside and the outside brickwork should be plastered with uh, having uh, with uh, uh, cement plaster with in the proportion 1 is to 2 okay then uh, steps and ladders are meant for uh, it is a uh, climbing and uh, it is uh, meant for the person if you he want to enter into the um, uh, manhole he will um, enter and he will go through th these uh, steps. These uh, steps are uh, made up of the cast iron and uh, the center to center distance between these two particular uh, uh, steps is around uh, 20 centimeter. Okay, the vertical distance between the steps may be kept up to 30 centimeter also, but normally it will be around 20 centimeter. Now here we are going to have uh, the top cover, the top cover of the manhole uh, is uh, the it is uh, um, made up of up to our width is normally it will be around a 10 centimeter uh, the width and the depth of the frame uh, of these top cover will be around 20 to 25 centimeter okay uh, so manhole basically it, where it is going to provide it it is going to be provided into the junction wherever there is a change in diameter wherever uh, there is a, uh, there is a uh, the, there is a junction there we are going to uh, change in diameter change in gradient there we are going to provide it and why we are providing it in order to have the inspection maintenance testing cleaning and the removal of the obstruction from the sewer line wherever two sewer line are going to pass wherever there is an junction if there is an obstruction maintenance for, for all these works we will be providing the manhole okay uh, now the manhole is a very very important for your examination concern you need to draw both the diagrams okay you need to draw both the diagrams this and uh, this okay here you can see the branch sewer line okay and the main sewer line okay uh, the main sewer line 
the waste water if it has to pass through the branch sewer line then it has to pass through the benching okay so all these things you know need uh, you need to remember regarding the manhole and the diagram is very very important uh, uh, and normally they will be asking the diagram of the manhole right now next is the drop manhole okay this is uh, regarding uh, the drop manhole a drop manhole is a it is a, a special type of a manhole right it is on a sewer line which is going to be constructed in order to provide the construction between right the construction between the high level branch sewer okay the high level branch sewer and the low level main sewer whenever there is an branch sewer and the main sewer at a different height in order to bring the waste water from the branch sewer line to the waste sewer line uh, your main sewer line where there if we want to bring that uh, waste water from the branch sewer line to the main sewer line there we are going to provide the branch uh, or or we call, or call it as an uh, your uh, drop manhole okay when a branch sewer enters a manhole which is wherever there is a uh, difference between the branch sewer line and the main sewer line is more than branch sewer and main sewer line if it is more than difference between the height is more than around 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 meter uh, then we are going to provide these uh, drop man drop manholes and the branch sewer line and the main sewer line has been connected uh, with an uh, vertical pipe with having an inclination of around 45 degree here we are going to provide an inclination of around 45 degree uh, the branch sewer line is connected to the main sewer line by providing an inclination of uh, 45 degree so that whenever here in the again the branch sewer line here the this portion is going to be completely closed so the waste water will enter into the branch sewer line and through this vertical pipe it is going to enter into the main sewer line suppose if we don't provide this particular vertical pipe the person whomsoever is working here on his uh, body uh, the waste water would have fall and it has it will uh, create an unhygienic condition to the person who is going to work there okay uh, and uh, this uh, the branch sewer line is joined to the manhole main sewer through the vertical pipe or or with the help of a drop pipe we also call this vertical pipe as a drop pipe the sewage okay so this is uh, regarding your uh, drop manhole Now one more uh, sewer appurtenances uh, whatever we are going to have is a uh, lamp hole okay the lamp hole is uh, again uh, uh, a special type of an opening it is going to constructed to join a um, hole in a sewer and the ground for the purpose of lowering the pipe here we are going to provide this lamp hole in order to lowering the pipe inside the sewer line okay uh, a lamp hole may consist of a vertical concrete or a stoneware pipe connected through the uh, t junction okay a manhole cover with the suitable supporting frame is also it is going to be provided uh, the on the top to take the load of the traffic okay now where these particular uh, lamp holes uh, should be located it should be located where is the, wherever there is a change in direction wherever there is a change in gradient or between the two closely spaced manhole construction of a manhole wherever uh, uh, it is uh, become difficult so, th so, there we are going to provide this particular manhole now where we are going to have this uh, uh, location of uh, why we are going to provide these uh, manholes it is for inspection okay and uh, then uh, it is going to be provided for wherever we are going to have the flushing and uh, the ventilation uh, there uh, have become uh, we are going to provide and uh, use of these manholes uh, is nowadays it is uh, becoming uh, becoming more or it is going to be uh, less obsolete these uh, lamp holes are having uh, it is obsolete nowadays okay so in the next class uh, we will be uh, discussing regarding uh, grease and uh, oil traps okay uh, thank you